The answer choices make it clear that this sentence is testing apostrophes. So let's think about how we're going to talk about whatever this sentence is about. Um, Chang Dang and her colleagues at the University of Washington recently ran simulations to determine the extent to which individual snow grains' physical properties affect the amount of light reflecting off a snowy surface. So um, I don't really need much, honestly, beyond the answer choices here. Uh, the, the, for, the word before it, I guess, is snow grains. Um, now, the snow grains have properties, right? So this is a good example of when we use an apostrophe is to show possession. So the properties belong to the grains. So we need to have an apostrophe on the word grains. So D, no good. Now we are gonna have a choice between A and B and C, which is where does the apostrophe go? But before I think about that decision, I'm gonna just look at the other uh, options and see if maybe the apostrophe and properties is gonna kind of make that decision for me. So then the question is, what comes after this? Do the properties own anything? We can go back to the sentence for that, and the word is effect, and that's a verb. So it's not effect with an E, where it could be a noun, something that exists as a noun to be owned. This is a verb. So there is no way for us to use an apostrophe in this case. The properties are kind of like the end of the line. So there's nothing for them to possess that comes after. We would, we would really need another noun. So that means that gets rid of A, that gets rid of C, and so we don't really need to think about whether or not the apostrophe in grains goes before or after the S. The reason it goes after is that it's multiple grains. They're talking about snow grains as kind of like um, multiple things and we're, we're kind of pulling them out as individuals, but the individual grains um, uh, are kind of talked about as a, as a big group, if that makes any sense. Um, but that doesn't matter. And this is a very common thing on the SAT is they uh, give us the different options between the, uh, the apostrophe being before the S, which we typically use when the word already does not end in S, or if the apostrophe is after the S, that's because there's already an S there. And there are real questions where we will need to make those decisions about whether it's a singular or plural or, or where the apostrophe goes. But in many cases, those decisions are made for us because there's multiple words that we're thinking about whether they need an apostrophe or not. And just kind of through process of elimination, we're kind of left with just one choice that has apostrophes in the right places at all. So think about those uh, things first, whether or not a word gets an apostrophe, that's usually an easier decision rather than where the apostrophe goes, and sometimes it won't really become a decision you have to make at all.